how does a photographer <laughs> get turned into a cat driver, get turned into a chef? Uh, that's, a, that's a really good question. well before digital photography. I got given a, a film camera and I thought, oh, photographing the night sky, that, that sounds like a lot of fun. I asked my science teacher, I want to photograph the stars. How do I do that? He said, point it straight south and uh, lock the shutter and see what you see. It, it was phenomenal. When you see those star trails, the reality sets in that we are the ones spinning around not the stars. That's just so cool. It really blows my mind even to this day. A couple of years later, I met someone who had actually worked in Whistler and I'd never heard of the place. Not a skier, not a snowboarder or anything like that. But I thought, hey, let's go there and check it out. And so I got a job uh, with one of the local photographers. Being up on the mountains, looking at everything every day, that was a game changer. A couple of years later, an opportunity came up to work for Whistler Blacker in the grooming department. Just seeing the environment at night, it's just a whole different other level. It's amazing to take a photograph, but there are times where I just enjoy the beauty that's around me. It's so quiet and peaceful and it really puts it into perspective. So that's when it started. And I think the first week of the first year, we, we went up to the Crystal Hut for a fondue dinner. And they were like, this is how uh, you're gonna get to and from the restaurant tonight. It was just the best time ever. I must have spent 10 minutes inside and the rest was outside taking photos. I just thought it was beautiful. A couple of years later, they offered me a job as a chef. You know, I do have a hard time explaining to a lot of my friends what it is I do for a job. And they're like, oh, you're a cook. And it's like, well, yeah, but my restaurant's at 6,000 feet up a mountain. It's not quite an average job. Every single person that comes on our tour has a different background. And everyone comes to Whistler for different reasons and it's, it's really cool when you take the time to to learn why people are here and learn all their stories. Getting to share my experience with guests is fantastic. A lot of people live in big cities, they can't see the stars, they can't see the environment doing its thing. They get to experience these things that are normal to us, but it's not normal to everyone else. We're here year in, year out. These guests come here for a week, a month, whatever it is, and it's a, it's a beautiful environment we get to live in. Hopefully they can take something like that home with them.